This video covers the topic, Using Second Derivatives to Find Graphs of Velocity and Acceleration. By now, you have learned that the derivative of a function at a certain point is the slope of the tangent line of the function at that point. In this lesson, we are going to look at what graphs of the derivative functions mean about the original function and their applications to the real world. How do we use this information in the real world? There are many applications of this concept, but we will focus on a physical one, position, velocity, and acceleration. I am a little unfamiliar with these. Can we go over what each term means? Position refers to the car's place as a function of time. When the car is parked, we would say that the position is at zero at time zero. As the car leaves the driveway, the car's position changes with respect to time. The graph of this position function will look like this. Oh, I think I get it. As the car is leaving the driveway, it is speeding up, so as time goes on, the amount the position changes is greater and greater. That's correct. As the car starts, it is not moving very fast, so it may only change position a small amount over time. But as it starts moving faster, it can cover more ground in less time. I see, but what does that have to do with velocity and acceleration? As we can see, position changes with respect to time. But when we refer to position, it does not allow us to understand this change. That is why we use velocity, which is the change of position with respect to time. Essentially, velocity tells us how fast the car is moving. Acceleration is the car's velocity with respect to time, which tells us how fast the car is speeding up. Okay, I think I understand the concepts, but what does that look like mathematically? If we define position as some function f of x, then the velocity of the function is the first derivative, f prime of x, and the acceleration of the function is the second derivative, f double prime of x. Let's take a look at the graphs of the functions. The original function, or its position, is f of x equals x squared. The first derivative of this function, or its velocity, is f prime of x equals 2x. The second derivative of the function, or its acceleration, is f double prime of x equals 2. Notice that the second derivative is a constant. Okay, I think I understand. You take the first derivative of the position function to find the velocity function, and you take the second derivative of the position function to find the acceleration function. Yes, exactly. And it seems like the second derivative of the position function is the same as the first derivative of the velocity function. You're correct. We will cover the relationship between these graphs in the video using the first and second derivative to determine graph behaviors.